Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at creating a multiple choice question. So this is an item type that you are very used to seeing. As far as point value on star, it is correct and correct. And the options you have in aware are the same, you just have correct and correct. As for content and grade level, we know that you'll see this throughout all contents and all grade levels. All right, we're going to jump into aware. I've already just created my basic assessment. I'm going to come up here to the top and under this first heading, I'm going to choose multiple choice. First things first, always please make sure that you set a primary standard. You can either scroll to find your standard or you can use this filter in the top right and type in either the number, keyword or phrase. Then you have the option to select a secondary standard. Also, if you're comfortable, I would say go ahead and definitely start setting your depth of knowledge. All right, let's start entering in the question text. All right, what is the term for a group of hyenas? You'll notice down here at the bottom, they default to giving you one response and you can add as many as you'd like. When you put in your answer choices, you're just gonna put it in the box that says response one, response two, so on and so forth. So I've got pride, drove, cackle, and a gang. And so this is actually called a cackle. If you need to type in anything other than regular text, you can use uh, this button over here to the right. It'll give you other symbols that you can utilize in your answer choices. Once you have that done, I'm going to make sure everything looks good. I'm good to go. And I'm going to come down here to the bottom right and click create. Last thing I always suggest you do is preview the question to make sure that when students see it, it's what you're expecting them to see.